Hello everyone and welcome back to the series of digital logic design and today we will study how to design a combinational circuit. The design of combinational circuit starts from the specification of the design objective and culminates in a logical circuit diagram or a set of boolean function from which the logic diagram can be obtained. Like if you have a design problem and you have to design a combinational circuit for the given problem, at first you have to read the problem statement and extract the specification of the circuit. And then following the procedure steps, you will end up with the boolean function or the logical diagram for the given problem. Now steps involved in the design of combinational circuit are from the specification of the circuit, determine the required number of inputs, output and assign a symbol or variable to them. In the very first step, you have to read the problem statement and then you have to identify the requirements of input and output, how many bits will be required for the input and how many bits will be required for the output. And after this identification, you must assign variables to the input bits and output bits. In the second step, you have to derive the truth table that defines the required relation between input and output. This means that once you have determined input and output bits, then you have to relate them and compute a truth table. And in this table, for all the input combination, the output will be defined. And in the third step, you have to obtain the simplified boolean function for each output as a function of input variable. Here you can use kmap method or solving using boolean algebra. And in the last step, you have to draw the logical diagram and verify the correctness of the design. The second step was about the construction of a truth table for the given combinational circuit and this table will consist of input columns and the output columns. For instance, if you have n binary variable at input, then you will have 2 power n binary combination in the input column and the binary values for the output are determined from the stated specification. Now, the output function are specified in the truth table gives the exact definition of the combinational circuit. Do remember, it is important that the verbal specification be interpreted correctly in the truth table as they are often incomplete and any wrong interpretation may result in the wrong truth table. And this will lead to an incorrect circuit design. Now as an example of design of combinational circuit, we will study code converters. The availability of a large variety of codes for the same discrete element of information result in use of different codes by a different digital system and it is necessary to use the output of one system as an input to another system. But here we require a code converters. A convergent circuit must be inserted between two systems if each uses different codes for the same piece of information. Thus, a code converter is a circuit that makes the two systems compatible even though each uses different binary codes. Now, to convert from binary code A to binary code B, the input lines must supply the bit combination of element as specified by code A and the output lines must generate the corresponding bit combination of code B. So we require a combination circuit that perform this transformation by means of the logic gates. The design procedure stated above for a code converter circuit will be illustrated by an example that convert a BCD or binary coded decimal to access 3 code for the given decimal digit. Now we will start design procedure for BCD to access 3 code converter. Now we know that the decimal digit starts from 0 and ends on 9, where 0 requires 1 bit but 9 requires a minimum of 4 bit binary representation. So we will have a minimum of 4 bit input. Similarly for output code of XS3, the XS3 code corresponding to the decimal 0 is of 3 and in binary it requires 2 bit where the maximum value of decimal is 9 
and the access tree code corresponding to decimal 9 is of 12 which requires 4 bit that is 1100. So the output of the circuit will be represented by 4 bits. Now we designate the 4 input variables by the symbols W, X, Y, Z and the 4 output variables by A, B, C and D. The bit combination assigned to BCD and XS3 code are listed in the table and the truth table relating the input and output variables is shown in the table. Now we know that the 4 input binary variable have 16 bit combination but decimal have 10 digit so 10 digits are utilized or listed in the truth table and corresponding to these 3 10 inputs we have access 3 output. Now the remaining 6 bit combination for the input variables are don't cares and these don't care start from input combination of 10 and ends on 15. These don't care condition have no meaning in BCD and we assume that they will never occur in actual operation of the circuit. Therefore, we are at liberty to assign to the output variables either a 1 or a 0, whichever gives a simpler circuit. Now we will move to the third step which is about obtaining a simplified boolean function. The maps in the figure are plotted to obtain simplified boolean function for the output variables. We have four output A, B, C and D. So we will have four output equations and corresponding to them we will draw the circuit diagram. Now we were having four output variables and corresponding to each output variable we have individual map as shown here. Each one of the four maps represent one of the four output of the circuit as a function of the four input variables. Now in the next step, ones will be marked inside the square are obtained from the min terms that make the output function equal to one. Like the ones are obtained from the truth table by going over the output column of output variable one at a time. And then using the rules of K map, that is by making the group of adjacent squares and solving them, we will get output functions in the standard sum of product form. Now also note that while marking ones, you have to consider one output variable for a one K map. For example, the column under output D has five ones, therefore the map of D has five ones each being in a square corresponding to the min term that make d equal to 1. And importantly, the 6 don't care min terms from 10 to 15 are marked with a cross or x. Now by using the rules of kmap and solving for the individual output variable, we will have 4 output equations in the standard sum of product form. Now in the last step, we have to draw the logical diagram. A two level logical diagram for each output may be obtained directly from the boolean expression derived from the maps and the logical diagram that implement this expression is shown in the figure. You may observe that we have four output variables a, b, c and d and four inputs w, x, y and z. Here it is also assumed that normal input and inverted or complemented inputs are directly available. And also in case of d where d is equal to z prime we have used an inverter which will complement z but here you have an option to directly use the z prime. And here this complete a code converter circuit for BCD to access 3. Thanks for watching the video and stay connected for more interesting videos.